Hey YouTube, welcome to History of the Draft. Has History of Draft Part 2. We've got Rivals of Ixalan now. This is a small set. You don't get these anymore. 196 cards in the set. Kamigawa has 302. Uh, we're drafting two packs of this and one pack of original Ixalan. This was the way that draft formats were done for a few years. Prior to that, it was three sets, usually. Uh, and we got ourselves one of the big bombs of the format. Tender Shoot Dryad is pretty nuts. Five mana for a 2-2, two -two, sounds bad. But if you have 10 or more permanents, which you probably will, pretty close to casting this, or maybe a turn after, uh, you get a 1-1 one -one every turn. But those 1-1s one are 2-2s two as long as you have those 10 permanents. So, easy snap pick for Tender Shoot Dryad. We'll probably at least soft force green here and see where we go. I wanted pack one, pick one, Tetsamok, but pack one, pick one, Tender Shoot Dryad will, uh, not three threes. Did I say two twos? Yeah, I meant three threes. They get plus two, plus two. Uh, we get a Thrashing Bront, which is a pretty good green card. Uh, Amulet is good. Luminous Bonds is good. I think that's about all there is to talk about. So we'll take a, a Thrashing Brontodon here pretty happily. Three, four for three. Absolutely undercosted. And then if you need to blow up an artifact or enchantment, you have the benefit. Cool beans. Easy pick. Sailor helps ramp to five. We haven't seen a sailor yet, a sailor yet now have we? I'm still mad that everybody is like, Sailor of Means, Sailor of Means, oh, Rival of Ixalan, Sailor of Means. I did that in regular Ixalan, and nobody noticed. That was me. I splashed a Vraska in a blue-red deck, I think it was. Uh, well, we got a Dreadmaw if we're sticking on green. Uh, and I think we're sticking on green. Meh. Meh, meh, eh, no, no, uh-uh, eh, that's eh, fine, eh, easy Dreadmaw, easy Dreadmaw, yeah, Prof said it first, probably, <laughs> that's a Discord joke, the YouTubes and the Twitchers don't know the Discord jokes. Uh, but yeah, if you're new to History of Draft from YouTube or here on Twitch, me, Semulin, uh, usually the game mechanic, he had his booster shot yesterday, not feeling too good. Uh, we're going to do every single draft format that's been available on Arena in order to go back and see what draft was like. Pirate's good for the pirate deck, yeah. Dreadmaw number two. We will need to find some ramp if we're going to have two Dreadmaws. Um, Silverclad Frostodons was way too expensive, way too expensive at seven mana. Curious Obsession could do some work, especially if you had flyers. Jerry Seinfeld here is pretty good. Kite Sail Corsair was nice. Water Knot is good removal, but we'll take Dreadmon number two. Got your booster yesterday too? Nice. Mine is on Monday. Because it took a while for Canada to get moving on that. But in fun news, Quebec is going to introduce a tax on being unvaccinated. In Ontario, we were like, that doesn't sound good. Wah, wah, wah. We won't do that. They should do that. So overgrown armus for plus tender shoot dryads kind of cute. Making more sapperlings if we enrage. Um, it's not. It's not the biggest of plans. Everything else here kind of sucks. This was okay if you're in Vampires. This was okay. Evolving Wilds could be the pick, but I honestly just want to take Armasaur and just, like, cut green. So I'm gonna. Green, black, green, black land. I also thought about that, but I think cutting green sends a hopefully good, clear signal. Uh, apparently 60% of Canadians are in support of attacks on being unvaccinated.
this I remember it being okay. I remember Raptor Buddy being great. I loved Raptor Buddy. Trailblazer was fine. Swaggering Corsair was okay. I think I'm just going to I'm going to hard cut green pack one cuz nothing is bringing me into another color here. I don't th this is an okay card it blocks like crazy. Um but yeah. Let's just do the hard cut of green right now. Yeah, it also enters tapped. It's really good splashing, but well, here I'm seeing an evolving wilds. Uh, Stalker was not the best. Naturalized for the sideboards an option. Tillinolly's crown. It did some work, and I mean it would go great on Bront or Cacaphodon or Armasaur. All my things are beefy, but I just don't know that we're going into red just yet. But I, I did some work with Tillinolly's crown. I think I'm just on the wilds, though. I think. Because I'm not, I'm not into red for a Till and Ollie's crown. Whereas this will go in the deck, even if we're mono green. And definitely two colors. And maybe we get another one. Aggressive Urge was mediocre. Negate, meh. Freebooter, meh. Dark and Fiery, meh. Helioptrus was fine, wasn't it? I remember that being okay. We obviously have dinosaurs. And they would all fly real well. I remember Helioptrus being decent, so I'm going to pick that up. I've seen a lot of red, but I haven't seen a lot of good red. I haven't seen the burn. I haven't seen... I guess we've seen, like... We've seen the little aggressive dudes. But this... Uh, what pick was that? Eighth pick? That feels a little bit signally. And then we get a Firebrand and a Corsair. But we know we're green, so we'll take a Naturalize for the side. Because we've seen at least two pieces of Enchantment Hate, or Enchantment uh, Removal. Arena, stop making noises. Go to the, go to the profile page. No more noises? No more noises. Um, you're not for us. If we're red, that could be okay. The black cards are mediocre. Let's take the bravado, see where we go. Hmm. Was this a plummet main format? The last plummet main format that I remember was Dragons of Tarkir. Uh, another bravado, I guess. I think everybody always tries to make an argument for every set being, well, this one is where you should put in main deck plummet, and they're never right. Uh, I'm not jumping into red for an Orozca Raptor. This card was bad. So I'll take another Naturalize for the side. Maybe a combat trick, because if, if we weirdly end up mono green, we might be struggling for a playable. So let's take the first combat trick. Green Black Land back around. Also a Trailblazer. Second last, well, third last pick. This card's fine. 2 1 for 2 with Menace is okay. And like I said, I can't imagine we're playing Raptor. No planes. Do not want. Give me Tetamok. You were bad, right? 4 mana 3 3. Attacks. Three cards in the graveyard, put lands in. Oh, I can't. I can't dredge up all of the memories on that card. Um, our green is bad. The green here is bad. The red is not great. This is the best card in the pack, I think. I really don't want to take a firebrand. World Shaper. I cannot remember. Bonds? Yeah, I guess there's a chance we're still white, eh? Like that Helioptrus is better than these four red cards. I can see that being an option. 
I feel I feel like I remember playing this card and it being better than I thought, but it's still not being good because it is four mana for a three three. It does nothing if it doesn't attack, and when it attacks, it at best just draws you lands. Uh, Cherished Hatchling, though, is good. Two mana, two one, that when it dies... Yeah, when it dies, your dinosaurs have flash. This is not the one I was thinking of. When it dies, your dinosaurs have flash, and when they enter the... When anything... No. When the dinosaur ETBs, it fights. It's still good. It's still good. Uh, there's a Wilds. There's a Death Spitter. A Crown. Literally no white cards is a very important note. Ergo, nobody is in white. <laughs> Absolutely guaranteed. So we'll take a Cherished Hatchling. Hey, Atomic Squirrel. Scoundrel is kind of nuts. What's Scoundrel? Oh, from the last pack. The one that is hexproof and becomes unblockable or is unblockable and becomes hexproof one of the two um, but let's take that cherished hatchling i remember it being pretty decent okay five mana three three etb make a three three not bad not bad we're gonna need to find some ramp that's what we're gonna need to do don't want Mutiny. Don't want Charging Tuscadon. Don't want Brass's Bounty. Not jumping into white. Knight of the Stampede. Knight of the Stampede is kind of ramp for what we're doing. But I want the Herd Color first. How far did a Bonds wheel? Oh, that was Pack 1, Pick 1. Or Pack 2, Pick 1. Because Pack 2, Pick 1 kind of stunk. We're going to wheel probably all of the green cards in pack two. Pick one. I just passed the Brass's Bounty. Well, you're ramp, and you're in white. And what are you fighting with? Oh, you're fighting with a Bombard. Ooh, this is the decision point. And I think, our, no, our, never mind. There's no decision. Helioptorus, Luminous, Bonds, Atzigan Seer is a lot better than Raptor, Bravado, Bravado, Trailblazer, Trailblazer, Bombard. So, easy Atsikens here. Out of here, Red. Yeah, Knight of the Stampede's kind of ramp. I think we can get one. Um, so we got a Cleansing Ray. Now, Cleansing Ray, I remember being almost main deckable. That is not. Sea Red was real good. Sea Red can just end games. Um, so I think we'll take Cleansing right here. Hardy Veteran is bad. Relic is ramp. Relic is ramp. We can get a Cleansing Ray. I'll take the Relic. Seer helps splash. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we find something in pack three. I'm going to take the Relic. What's our creature count? 10? Good, 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 good. What's the green fight spell? There must be a green fight spell, right? Squire's Devotion was shockingly okay. So I think we'll take the Squire's Devotion. Hunt a Week was in Rivals. And it was Pounce in original Ixalan. Oh, do you play the games here? Yeah, we play the games in Arena. Uh, but single elimination, unfortunately, because Travis hates Swiss. I would like Swiss just to get three matches out of the gameplay. Um, but I convinced him to play a board game. I, I'm not going to push my luck any further. <laughs> so Snubhorn Sentry was fine. And like, hi, we're definitely hoping we get the city's blessing. It also blocks decently at the start. We don't need another overgrown Armasaur. Strider Harness was also like obnoxiously okay. I don't like that it was okay, but it was okay. But we'll take the Snubhorn Sentry, I think. 
lower our curve a bit. Yeah, Savage Stomp was, um, I think, Ravnica Allegiance. Sun Sentinel's playable. Uh, I don't think we're Traveler's Amuleting for anything just yet. Yeah, let's lower our curve a little bit more. Little bit more. I guess I can easily do this. Scryfall, set, Ricks, Oracle Text, Flight, Hunt a Week, Cherished Hatchling, and Golden Guardian are the cards that say the word fight. And in Ixalan, we've got Atsakan, Archer, Pounce, and Savage Stomp. Savage Stomp is original Ixalan. Uh, well, there's the plummet back around. Like I said, ev I believe this is every green card from pack two, pick one. So we'll take the plummet for the side. Nothing here. Um, let's take somebody's counter spell. Which is the better counter spell? This is cancel. Probably. This is this is essence scatter. Make a treasure. I'm going to take horn swoggle. Yeah, Shaper just isn't very good, I don't think. Preypon was Ravnica. Preypon's been in many sets. Preypon was the original fight spell in original Innistrad. So there's another overgrown Armasaur. I think we're a little bit stocked up on fives. I don't think we need any more. But we're not taking anything else or hating anything else here. I don't care if anybody has that. I don't care if anybody has that. I Nobody should have that. Uh, another naturalized. This is our third one, second one. Because we don't need our third Armasaur. I don't think we're playing our second one. And the first one's only cute because of the Tender Shoot Dryad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was reprinted in Ravnica as well. There's the Cleansing Ray back around for almost guaranteed the side. Third naturalize. I hope nobody's playing only enchantment removal. <laughs> and a swamp. Uh, which are you? Are you the bad one? Instant sorcery spells are cheaper. Cast it, put a charge counter. Four counters. What do you become? You were cute, but you were really hard to do, and there's a savage stomp sitting here, so easy pick. Easy stomp. There's new horizons that probably won't come back around, especially because Renand A has already said that he'll be drafting five color stuff. And B, I think every time I've played him, he's been playing five color stuff. That's just what he does. So he will be taking this card. But we get the savage stomp, which is what I want. We, oh no, don't know. You're making me choose. We have to take Ripjaw Raptor, but I want the Savage Stomp too. But it's a Ripjaw Raptor. It's a 4 5 for four, for reasons. Yoink. Now, Savage Stomp, fight? Fight, not bite. Yeah, ain't nobody going to have no Immortal Sun. We're going to step on it. Oh, there's a Raging Sword Tooth there, too. Man, I wish Exelon was, like, available for best of three drafting right now. Best of three in pod Swiss drafting. I would play this over Crimson Vow easily. Pounce. Perfect. Perfect. I like this deck. I wish we were playing Swiss, not single limb, but let's just win, and then it's not a problem, right? Yeah, Ripjaw's very, 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 very good. <laughs> the thing that I like about Swiss is you can lose round one and you can still get, like, third place 
by going 2-1 still feels really good. Whereas playing single, single a limb and losing round one is just like, why did I bother? Splash. Oh, no, we just take Terry. I like me a Raging Sword Tooth when we have Enrage, 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 maybe Enrage. But Terry is just Terry. Terry is great. Get in the deck, Terry. I still would like one more piece of ramp. Terry's so good. Remember when we were like, man, commons are getting really powerful. You see this card? This would be like a basic land these days. Uh, well, there's the New Horizons. Don't care about a Deep Root Warrior. Don't care about a Ceratops. Don't care about a Raptor Buddy. It was a good card, but specifically in Vampires where you can gain the life and whatnot, where it's just like Sarah Angel. But New Horizons is exactly what I'm looking for. We get a counter on something, make it bigger for our fight spells. We get to ramp up to our Dread Maws and such earlier. Sold. She put me like 14, 15 creatures, 15. All right, one more playable. Preferably two, because I would like to cut one of these Armosaurs. Um, technically ramp, but literally one of the worst cards you could ever top deck in your life. So I kind of think I might just want Crash the Ramparts instead. It's just such a bad top deck. It's such a good starting card, though. Maybe we play it. Maybe we play it. What was the Dom one, Starcrown Stag? That was a core set, I believe. I want to say that was core set 2019. Uh, we got a Jade Guardian, which ain't going to do anything. We got a Deep Root Warrior, which just could be a dumb little thing. Got a Paladin the Bloodstain, which is not really my jam. So we'll take a Deep Root Warrior, cutting one of these Armosaurs. I think I like this deck. Did I not cut an Armosaur? Click. There we go. Wall of Wood with Upside. Yeah, Slate Upside. But again, off the top, it's just going to feel atrocious. Um, Another Deep Root Warrior, just to have a little bit of early aggression. I don't think I'm cutting anything for it. Yeah. Uh, maybe the Sun Sentinel. Like, this is a 3 3 when it matters. This is always just a 2 2. Is that cannon bad? I hate it. I, I really deeply dislike elaborate fire cannon. It's a lot of work for not much payoff. Primal amulet back around. Again, this can do some nutty things, but like I would need to cast four instants and sorceries. I have two, three, <laughs> so we can't actually use it. Um, What do I not want to run into? Flyers, I guess. Um, I don't think I want to crash the ramparts, although I might play a crash the ramparts over an aggressive urge. Aggressive urge is not good. At least this gives trample. Otherwise, I'd be cutting a headstrong brute. Amy, that's one of your favorite build rounds. I feel like I remember doing it once. 
Um, I'm not playing a fog. I don't fear a spell pierce. I don't fear an opt. I don't really fear a sun ground hunters, but I'll take it. I like this deck. I like this deck. I hope we don't get dirted out in round one. Because <laughs> I want to play this deck. Uh, in the interest of not getting dirted out in round one, nobody gets a swashbuckling. To just like, oops, mono red, you're dead on turn five. Let's get rid of an opt. Yeah, I think that describes a lot of Ixalan, to be honest. I think the set was good, and people don't know what they had. Not great. Not great by any stretch of the imagination, but good. All right, there's a deck. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back in a moment. Uh, YouTube, be right back with match one. All right, YouTube, we are here for match one against Semulan one of the other organizers of the history of draft. Hmm, and let's see if our dinosaur deck works. That screen stayed for a little longer than I would have liked. Um, so Deep Root Warrior on one, Hammer Skull on three, or on two. Hammer Skull on three, if we draw a land, we got Pounce up, seems okay. There's our land for Terry. Um, yeah, we want Deep Root down. So the mirror match is what you're saying. Aggressive. Your three colors with a resplendent griffin. So what you're saying is I should be getting my plummets in, eh? Smashy, smashy, no blocky. And let's get tarrying. And then next turn we can look at like relic pounce. John Redcorn back for 35 months. <laughs> How's it going? Knight of the Stampede. That would be a blocker were it not for Terry. Well, let's come on and slam. Tap the knight. Um, I think I want to pounce that griffin while we can. Let's kill it now. Because <clears throat> he's going to be looking to drop pig dinosaurs, but if we find a land, so am I. Imitation Terry, Suncrested Pterodon. So it's just a 2-5 that fly, or has Vigilance. No, not my Terry. I needed that. All right, so also enchantment stuff. Uh, and I get, what, a 3-3 three, three when it comes back? So that's a definitive downgrade. Um, Your colorless mana... I think we're just dropping Bront. Ha ha! Got him. Let's drop Bront. We made him block. All right. Give me a land. I want a Dread Maw. New Horizon? Sure. Throw a counter on your pterodon. Don't care. <clears throat> My lifelinking dreadmaw will uh, have some things to say. What? What's the other thing? Tap sack, gain three life, draw a card. You got city's blessing. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, down to one card in his hand. I will take three. Can't stop me. Mm, Snubhorn works. Let's 
suit up deep root. Slam in. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine. So not quite there. Gain some life back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, this will be ten. So let's get Snubhorn down because it'll be a three, three. Sure. A okay because I'll also gain three life off of this. <clears throat> Traveler's Amulet, sure. Sack it. Go get yourself a planes. Ha ha. For me, for me good. Actually, no, you can't for me. You can't uh, do that. Uh, but I can drop a Dreadma. Hey, Ma! Hey, Ripjaw Raptor. Um, I would love to draw a card and gain some life. Ooh, a horn color. One, two, three, four, five mana. Yeah, let's just do max five. So we come in, he blocks with Pterodon Knight. We kill Knight. I mean, this should be pretty ding dang close, yeah. Especially next turn. Okay, go to two. Totes fine. Three, two, go find a merfolk. Uh, and merfolks give it a counter. That was a good forerunner. I remember that forerunner. No merfolk. Or you just don't want to show me merfolk because you're dead. Block, 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 take four. And now he's hovering over the card. He might have misclicked. Hey, he's dead. All right. So. We see enchantment removal, although this does just make naturalize like two mana three three, which is fine. Good even. Only one ah two flyers. Two pretty decent flyers that he seems to want to buff. So plummet's coming in. <clears throat> Theoretically he would have the luminous bonds at least. I'm just I'm unsure about that naturalize. You know? And I think we cut the collar. Look, I'm not using Naturalize on an amulet, and using it on a baffling end is fine. But that's all the hits we've seen. I took one of the Luminous Bonds we saw. I'm pretty sure nobody took the other Luminous Bonds that we saw. There's no green enchantments that I fear, I don't think. I guess we can look this up on Scryfall, eh? Uh, set. Ricks. Type. Enchantment. Color. Green. God. We're not going to put it in in case he has a Hadana's Climb, but if he has a Hadana's Climb, that's going to suck. Um, Baffling End Luminous Bonds. What about an Ixalan? Highest interdiction. Yeah, I don't think I'm putting in a naturalized just for a baffling end, but definitely the plummet comes in. And did we see he is unlikely to have vampires? So yeah, let's go back in. New Horizons as well, that's true. <clears throat> It seems like he's just splashing for the griffin so far. It would suck if he's also splashing for Hodana's climb. 
because let me tell you, Citadel Siege is not my friend. Um, this seems like a slower start, but a good start, and he's mauled. <clears throat> we get to find another white source. We'll have four lands in hand. We've got a plummet for his first bird. Luminous Bonds for the second. Land. Land. Gonna go get my planes. Still no two drop. Give me the bird. Oh. All right. Well, here's Terry. Here's Terry. Knight of the Stampede. Uh, do we want to trade two for two? Or do we want to try to get him? I think we want to try to get him with a Crash the Ramparts. Because if he tries to fight or something, like Savage Stomp, that would be a big game. <clears throat> Oh, well, there's the Pterodan. There goes the Pterodan. Holy lands. Well, at least we're going to cast Dreadmaw, I guess. Oh, let's come on and slam. You can two me back if you want. Uh, four four can block an extra creature. Sure, that's fine. To me, coward. I've got a dreadmaw. All right, dreadmaw crash luminous bonds down to three cards. Got a chance. Okay, it's fine. We'll luminous bonds the ceratops. Pretty handily. Actually, hang on. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's start out with this. Slam. No blocks, no tricks. You forced my hand. I wanted to hold up the crash the ramparts rather than get the counter on, but that's fine, that's fine. Shaper, sure, because he's going to be real locked into blocking here for a bit. Counter, sure. Attack, aggro. Bounce. Seven, yeah. Red mod number two. I think Simeon's dead. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> that was aggressive. Uh, so five, nine. Are you just dead? He's just dead. <laughs> Emotes for the win. All right. We got past round one. We get to play round two. I like the deck. Like I said, I thought this deck looked really good. We didn't even see our bomb, so let's see how match two go. Hey YouTube, welcome to match two. Almost forgot to hit record. We have kept a seven lander or a seven hander. Good thing it's not a seven lander. Uh, that's a little bit slow, but any land gives us relic. We're getting into Cacophodon. We'll find a white source at some point. Maybe even we ramp into a herd collar. That would actually be ramping. Raptor buddy, that's pretty aggro. So we got a block. And now we need to find a land. Badly. Two, 
two to prevent all combat damage that be dealt to it sure um so yeah this is an easy relic into at least a cacophodon if not a herd collar conquistador sure we're going to outclass these creatures right now so prevent all combat damage right prevent all damage always this card was not great Uh, plus one, plus one for, plus one, plus one on another. Sure, 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 sure. So we've got Savage Stomp to get rid of something if need be. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step one, I want to see what the blocks are because we could crash the ramparts to just kind of cool the jets over there a bit. Okay. Okay. So let's kill that, trample over for a little bit. And then let's drop a snub horn. Uh, no need to fight anything just yet past the turn. We'll hold this for a bomb or threat or flyer or etc. Uh, Cacophodon will give us blessing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Hey, like that. 2-4, flying. He has not ascended. Beginning of upkeep, if you have City's Blessing, he does not. It's just a 2-4 flyer right now. Um, bad stuff happens, yeah? Reveal the top card. Each opponent loses X life. It's like Hyper Bob. So it needs to die. It needs to die right now. Out of my game. And then we will drop a Cacaphodon. And we'll come in with a pair of 3-3s. Three threes. <clears throat> and then we'll sack this Relic, most likely. I guess we can wait to sack it. See if we draw a Dreadmaw and not yet have the lands for it. I would love to see a double block. Get rid of the Conquistador. Three down to 13. So very powerful bomb that dies to plummet. So I think plummet will come in. Another raptor buddy is fine. That Everdon champion is honestly kind of annoying. Uh, let's draw a card. Don't be Dreadmaw. Sure. Uh, yeah, you know what, Everdon champion? You've been annoying enough. Go away. No more infinite blocking. And then let's come on and slam. I assume we'll see Raptor Buddy on Snubhorn. On Cacophodon. You got a tricky trick? Moment of craving. That's fine. Super fine. Drop a deep root warrior, three, four, five, six, seven. Dead in a couple of turns. And we just need to not flood. Recover? Sure. All right. We got to go. We gotta go. Uh, slam. Take seven. Down to two, and that Twilight Prophet ain't gonna do anything for you. Cause you gotta kill four things. You'd need to specifically have the thing that makes a bunch of vampires. And it doesn't appear that that's what you got. So we will come on and slam. Talons. So Slash of Talons, killing Deep Root Warrior, blocking that, still takes four. 
Oh, I think you meant last turn because he had one white up, right? Okay. Still dead. Got him. We don't even need our bomb. I would like to draw our bomb. So, plummet for the Twilight Prophet. Um, probably we'll have some other flyers. There are other flying white dinosaurs as well as a, at least one uh, or two pretty good uh, flying vampires. Cleansing Ray seems fantastic against this deck. Basically kill, kills that, kills that, kills that, should kill some other things. Let's cut the collar. And cut the Cratch. Cut the Cherish Ashling. Mm, cut the Crash, I think. Uh, cut the Squire. No, mm, cut. Squire's Devotion gets us back into the game really well. Maybe the Armasaur is too cute. Too cute and too expensive. Let's try that. Let's try that. All right, so black, white, vampire combat tricks is what we're seeing. A standard deck from way back then. Um, so this is a turn three relic into at least a turn four cacophodon, maybe a turn five herd collar again. I think he mulled again. I wish this was information that Arena would give you. I think I saw him mull, so we'll keep. Well, that was definitely a mall. That might have been the second mall. That had to be the second mall because we had the second decision. So he's down to five already. So if we find a two drop, we should be pretty good. Show me no one drop. Thank you. Now, I know this is a big ask, but show me no two drop. Okay. Show me no three drop. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> show me very few more lands from my deck, please. At least we're getting hurt color this coming turn. Uh-oh. We need that dead before City's Blessing happens. We've got so many hits. We've got Savage Stomp, we've got Plummet, we've got Cleansing Ray. We have so many ways to make Twilight Prophet not be a thing anymore. Let's find it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I think we have to keep stuff off of his board. So it's slam time. The Dire Fleet Hoarder turns into a treasure, which sucks, but keep stuff off his board. Don't get Ascend. All right. This takes one thing off the board and deals a bunch of damage. Oh, he does have Slash. What do you know? All right. So Dreadmaw time. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Still two off, so we can still find a pounce, for example. Um, come on and slam. And then you go away. You come out to play. And I think we're in good shape now. We have dealt with the Twilight Prophet the first time. And that may be the end. Come on and slam. Takes it. <laughs> Let's draw a card. Our deck tried to give us a lot of lands, but I think we got there. Yeah, Seer can recur a lot of stuff. There we go. Two. Oh, we're going to go into the finals, which might take a while. Uh, YouTube, I'll see you for the finals. Hey, everybody, we're back for the finals against Uncle Cardboard. 
fake Jake Brown from the internet. Um, a little bit slow. Hopefully he's not on aggro, but I'll keep it. Ooh, a two drop. Currently on white, white, eh? So that's four white decks that we've seen so far. White, black. That feels like a bit of fighting with, um... Uh, you can't block, can't attack, can't attack. So let's get that down so that we at least get our Cacophodon, Cacophodon down next turn. Order, okay. Um, Yeah, let's Cacoph some Dons. Uh, actually, I want to attack in and see if we can get the Flash here. Nice. Get you your treasure. So we don't get the best fight, but it's fine. Hey, now we get the best fight. Fight your castaways. Clap, 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 clap. Uh, I will untap a, is this instant? A green source. Um, I don't think we're pouncing, so let's just establish our board some more. <clears throat> Good thing we're Eldrain Green White then. What's Eldrain Green White? One for other creature dies make treasure. Right, right, right. Uh let's five mana. Let's pump up this warrior. And then come on and slam. The dubs? Wait, why are you a 3-3? Three, three? Why aren't you a 4-4? Four, four? What? Why aren't you a 4-4? Four, four? That should be a 4-4, four, four, right? I get. I must have to assign the blocks first. Uh, okay, that's what it was. Um, so we're killing plunderer. Dire fleet hoarders not dying. We're holding up pounce. Seems good. Yeah, I would have. Ex I would have expected the trigger to pop. And then choose, I guess? I don't know. All right, so he's some kind of three-color pirate shenaniganery over there. Um, I'm happy to slam some more. <clears throat> and then we'll see about dropping a Helioptorus. Bright Reprisal, destroy target attacking creature. Sure. Draw your card. Smash, smash, drop a Helioptorus. Queen's Agent? Sure. Lifelink is slightly annoying, but not the worst. We'll take two. Land. Let's come on and slam. Give it flying. And hey, Ma. That's ascend, so we can get a card draw, and we're going. He's actually dead if he taps out here. He's got four mana up. No longer dead. A mild distance from dead. Um, well, four is not really doing it if he's gaining three, so let's just get in for two. And then, yeah, let's bring back Dreadmaw again. Let's just keep forcing the answer. 
The greed was ripped on pounds, but I'm going to be a little bit less greedy. Because I want to kill that. And that. So Plummet is coming in. Plummet's coming in a million times over. Uh, let's pop this Evolving Wilds. Uh, our crash, Crashing Rampart should do some pretty serious work here. So in we go. Flying Dreadmaw. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Let's crash them ramparts. Um, so that's eleven coming through. No point in pouncing. So down to five. We'll hold up pounce and go from there. Clear evidence that birds are dinosaurs, you betcha. Hey, we got them. Fun fact, we've not lost to Uncle Cardboard in three different matches that we've played, I think. Let's keep that going. Let's plummet. Let's get rid of this collar, like every single game. Uh, vampire. Vampire. Uh, or Aurora X. Thanks for the follow. Um... I don't think we want the Cleansing Ray in. That is a very good vampire. This is not that great of a vampire, but can get annoying. But I don't think we want the Ray. If we had seen Luminous Bonds or something, but we didn't. I wonder if he has a uh, Cutlass. Or if this is just going to assume that treasures will exist at some point. Also, what is he? He's black. I think he's just three-ish colors. All right, let's just go with just the plummet for now. Bringing it anyways in case they have a vamp bomb. It's risky. Um, slow again, but boy, do we ramp. Let's keep it. See where we go. Zealot. Okay, another vampire. Not one that I want to use a cleansing ray on, but a vampire nonetheless. There's a three into a four that I don't mind. Desperate castaways, you got it. Let's get Bront down. No, don't touch my Bront. Oh, that's fine. A okay. One me. I've got a cacaphodon. So next turn we'll have five. If we spend three, we have three. So we could New Horizons counter on cacaphodon cast Bront. Imagine if we could draw Tender Shoot Dryad. We've never drawn it this entire draft. <laughs> uh, three, four, five, six, no attacks. Tender Shoot Dryad would be amazing if we could find it. Mausoleum Harpy, that's another plummet target. Whenever another creature controls, dies, yada, 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 yada. Um, I think that's enough for me to bonds it. Get out. And then we'll drop Terry. 
and then we're just kind of going to stare at each other for a bit. So I really need to find the dryad. Really badly. Because we need to get going wide. Drawing a nice little three cards there. I remember Secrets of the Golden City. Good card. Heartstopper's fine. Ain't attacking me. Well, there's the plummet for later. And or should that harpy get out from the bonds? Or to kill that, I suppose. I don't want to deal with a 3-4 flyer. Kind of wish we had another plummet. But so bees it. Get rid of the winder. <clears throat> Enjoy your counter. Give me Dryad. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, oh my lord. I really wish we had another plummet in this deck. Deck, for the love of God. How's the draft going? Uh, we're in the finals against Jake. Uh, we won match one pretty handily. Match two, he's got all the flyers, and we've got all the lands. Yeah, we've yet we've let yet to lose a game. But this one's trending towards that outcome. We've never drawn our tender shoot dryad. Ever. Terry, get in the way. Death touch. Queen's agent will pounce that before explore. Ugh. Oh, and it goes on top. Oh. <laughs> Dryad would be amazing. Dreadmaw would be fine. We just can't stop drawing lands. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in our top. Seventeen. There goes the harpy. Yeah, our deck just boned us. He also did draw eight more cards than us. Secrets of the Golden City. It's real good. All right, deck. Just don't be a land. Not good enough. Do we have any way out of this? We have one more removal spell. No, we're dead. Ninety nine percent sure we're dead. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Disgusting. All right. Let's not flood out. Let's not flood out. Old magic is better. Old magic is still magic. Old magic will still just randomly be like, nah. Nah, you don't need to play. Uh, vampires. Yeah, so we're still not really on vampires that we want to have a cleansing ray in for. 
Oh, I wish one of these three naturalizes was another plummet, but no such luck. Let's get going. Let's get going. Ugh. That is a good example of where a lot of people would be like, well, he had just as many lands as you, so it was fine. But he had 13 cards left in his library and we had 21. <laughs> There's always more going on than did the opponent have the same number of lands as you? All right, this is our this is our literal final chance to see a tender shoot dryad. And because I said that, we're going to see it and never have 5 mana. I know what I've done to myself. Play first. Okay. It's not great, but like one drop, three drop. We've got some time to find two drops, but time to find some other stuff. No two drop. We have a turn to take off for Evolving Wilds. Thin the deck just a little bit. Lands, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Let's grab a forest. So Terry next turn. Imagine winning a tournament without seeing your bomb. Sure, that would be cool. I would like to play the bomb, though. We'll send a message. Message sent. Ooh, a five drop. I will not send a message. You have to do the power moves. Crashing Tide, you got it. He's playing a tempo deck. I miss when tempo decks were a thing you could play. In. Spirewinder, sure. Tap it down, get in for two. Just stop drawing lands, please. Pretty please. Pretty, 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 please. Good fucking God. Uh, in, in, tap down, Harpy. Sure. In for four. No more lands. His deck is good. I like it. It's the tempo stuff that you can't really play anymore. Like, magic cards in 2022, you can't bounce. You're just going to re-trigger their nutso effects. It would be a bad idea. Uh, okay, how do we get through this now? We could tap down Harpy. He puts Agent in front of Hammer Skull, eats it, gains three, takes seven, takes four, down to ten, gets a counter. Seems bad. Seems very bad. We win by not flooding anymore. Not flooding any more, please. And finding Tender Shoe Dryad. Drawing a whole bunch of cards. Not a flyer. That's good. Possibly low enough life total that, yeah, we keep him from attacking. Ripjaw Raptor's cute. Ripjaw Raptor with a fight spell would be. Real nice. Real nice. Oh. So you're drawing an extra card every turn. Your spells are cheaper. And Anthem. Cute. Wish I had naturalize. Wish I could stop drawing goddamn lands. Uh, we tap down Winder, and bad stuff happens. So there are seven lands left in our 24-card deck. 
he's not going to mill himself out before we just die because he is doing eight a turn. Uh, we're dead. We're dead. Ugh. We are dead. So many goddamn lands. <laughs> magic the Gathering will be Magic the Gathering. Bronton Pounce and Plummet, next three draws. I'm taking eight a turn in the air. I don't have three draws. Like, I'm dead. Uh, I'm dead right now. Like, we Squire's Devotion, Armasaur, attack, gain five. I can't crack back for anything. You kidding me? How could I crack back for stuff? They've got four cards on the battlefield. <laughs> oh, real good deck. And uh, we got Magic the Gathering Doubt. We drew so much land in those last two games. But that's the history of draft. That felt really good to go back to. Magic the Gathering will always be Magic the Gathering. But as you saw, it doesn't always have to be overpowered stuff like in 2022. That's the history of draft. YouTube, see you next time. <laughs>